Yo, what's good YouTube? I'm MS London. Welcome back to my channel. Today, tonight, whenever you're watching this, today we're bringing you a special episode. One thing's first, it's special because I'm filming it at night. Usually I film my videos in the daytime, so the lighting might be a little bit different. But I've got a special pair of sneakers in my hands today. A special pair of indeed. So I thought it was only right to bring it to you quick. Um, Air Max One. It's good to be unboxing an Air Max One. Without further ado, I present to you the Air Max One Denim or the Air Max One Blue Void, which is its actual mid German name. Um, pick these up from end. Can't lie about it. This is on the resale side of things. Um, I wasn't lucky to get the win on the raffle right yeah so they come with a cardboard box basically vibes of off-white pretty pretty plain yeah standard label on the front as i just showed you end sticker there We've got a cut out of the night swoosh which is it's fairly cool to be honest but i don't like it because i don't want any dust getting onto, onto my kicks. Um, underside of the box, it's just pretty much normal business there. Trademarks and all that. Let's have a look inside the box. So the shoe, there is no paper, just comes with dust bags. I'm gonna pull those out now anyway. Two dust bags. Bags. bags come complete with the logos. I'm not sure, I don't have too much knowledge on the history of the brand Denim. Denham, I think it's pronounced, which is a, a Dutch denim brand. Uh, they make a lot of denim wear, mainly jeans, jean jackets, I imagine. Um, so you've got like these logos all over the dust bag. These are featured on the shoe as well, which we will see. Um, it's got drawstring. It's pretty cool. Oh man, Air Max One Blue Void. It's an absolute banger of a shoe. Let's have a little look at it. Eh? Start from the bottom, eh? Got a gum sole, which is it's quite a rich, a rich gum colour. Um, when you look at it at an angle, I'm not sure if you're seeing it, but it's, it's got like a kind of a goldish kind of look to it. It's like if it's a solid gum. Uh, we've got a white midsole, we've got a red air unit side there will be easier to see on the reverse side red air unit which is pretty sick we've got suede new buck new buck I like to say that's new buck on the mud guard it might be might be some sort of fine suede but should have researched that really before I got into this. Um, but we've got like a navy, the, the whole shoe is pretty much navy, but you've got the navy mud guard. Now, you've got a lovely toe box there, it's got like a, a cross kind of design going on with it. It's, um, it's sick to be honest. It's kind of made out of, I wouldn't say it's denim, but it's like that really thin thin linen denim style we've got a good bit of denim here it's a nice bit of jean across 
post that part of the shoe if anyone wants to uh, tell me what that's called in the comments please because I always forget and on the quarter panel there we've got like a shashis coat shashis coat oh god um, style print going on there which is absolutely beautiful it's proper stitched in there so let's have a close look at that hope it's focusing on that proper proper close look there Really, really, really good, good quality, that is. Right, the swooshes just got white swooshes with red stitching. Um, they look like they're slightly tumbled, um, but ever so slightly, ever so slightly. It's, um, it's an absolute banger. Got the Nike Air stamped in on the hill. As you can see, it's stamped in pretty finely. That's that's a pretty nice touch there. It comes with this um, paper across the uh, tongue. Um, I'm not sure why that is. To be honest, we'll have a look at that in a minute. <laughs> Let's dip the other pair out. Laces are like a white wax lace. Um, for those of you that know me, I'm not really rating the white wax lace. Um, wow, the lace tips are pretty cool. Oh, so is that focusing? Alright, can't seem to get that to focus, but on the lace tips like scissors I'm sure you've all seen it on pictures online and stuff um, and the laces the red laces they're not waxed they're more of cotton and they've got the same the same scissor although the end of the, the end of the laces is a normal wrapped lace it's not it's not finished with the wooden tip like the Laces that are in the shoe. Now you've got some DLs inside the shoe. Same DLs that are on the um, on the bags. Get a focus there. Put some writing inside the shoe there. It says denim. The jean maker, which is what the brand do, they make jeans. Um, I'm not ready to wear these yet, to be honest. So I'm not really trying to take the paper out. Might we'll have a quick look at the tongue there. The tongue's got a different kind of pattern going on on it. Um, it's also got the stamped Nike red stitching which um, seems to be a bit of a theme across the shoe oh, I'll deal with that later um, but yeah Air Max 1 Blue Void for those of you that know this was a pretty hard cop um, proofs in the pudding I took an L I had to go the resale route Numbers are extremely limited in this shoe. The shoe is rumoured to have 6,800 pairs. Um, I heard a rumour straight out of the denim store that there's only, I believe, 6,300 pairs. And I was led to believe, which I hope I'm wrong because I would like to take a double up and I know there's people that are trying to get the shoe into their possession so a few more units you know, would have gone miss but 
I've heard there's only 6,300 pairs of denims banging Air Max 1s, Air Max 9s and Air Max 95s and I've heard there was 2,200 pairs of the blue void Air Max 1s um, I haven't heard the unit numbers for the others I'm going to take a wild guess and say 2,190s and 2,095s as I said I do hope I'm wrong I hope there is 6,000 odd pairs of the one but I'm just telling you the information I've been given Thank you again. Just wanted to show you this. You know, I'm going to be up editing all night just to get this out to you in the morning. Um, I was Air Max London. Shouts out to you. Uh, hold up before we go there. Before we go there, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and shouts out to the Show Your Creps team. If you don't know who Show Your Creps are, it's a new format that started on IG over the COVID period. That basically a 10 a 10 crep versus 10 crep battle two people 10 crepes it's a battle live on IG it's a bit of fun it's not about the winner really obviously it's nice to win but it's about bringing people together having a bit of banter showing your crepes educating a few people on your crepes and just sharing your passion which is what we're all here for sleepers so show your crepes live on ig 3 p.m every sunday check out the podcast i believe it is on every format so wherever one you've got is probably on i was there max london see you soon